Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. Our winter wheat is growing. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't quite expecting that so soon, but it's been about three weeks, maybe, since we planted that. Not quite sure. Wait a minute, I don't got this full yet. It'd be nice if we headed down down to the fields with a full tank of fertilizer, wouldn't it? Uh, fill with fertilizer that I bought after last episode to make sure we have enough for the fields. Uh, probably just take about 2,000 of it today and we'll be done with it for the year wow even this canola up here has uh, already started to grow hmm it's growing fast it is almost too fast so the agenda today, as you can see the sun popping up behind us, it's uh, just 20 after 6. Well, a lot of our fields are grown. Better make sure all of our fields are fertilized quick before we have to tramp in them in, a, in our tractor and have crop destruction. Not too much on the agenda today. Uh, just finish up fertilizing. Uh, I have started uh, mowing the lawn just a little bit just to clear it up because I do want to see if that has been fixed in the past to where you wake up April 1st and it's not where your grass is fully totally grown which we'll find out in about two episodes or so shouldn't be more than two episodes this episode and I would probably do one more episode the last day I'm going to probably call it like the last day of the year or whatever which means uh well, just tidying up, you know, selling what we got, see if we can get the that wonderful one and three quarter million mark. But right now, we're off to finish up some fields that we started, and then I'll have. I think I just got. Uh, let's see, no, yeah, I got three fields left. Well, two and a half. Two and a half fields, and uh, that should be it for fertilization. Uh, I didn't check the map though. Do we have any jobs today? No, there's two, three, four, probably. Oh, fix the building. Uh, hopefully, I can do that. Transport, transport, and fix the building. And we'll be doing some jobs today, and that's that's pretty much it. Then what I'll do for the last ten days, I'll uh, do off cam. I'll just do the jobs available. I shouldn't get no field work jobs like plowing and cultivating so it would just be like fix the building transport I try to do all those well I'm not going to try to do all of them I am going to do all of them just to get the social points and try to get as much money as we can and uh, then the last day of the year yeah we'll sell what we have and uh, see what our finances look like and then after that the third episode from now will be spring cleaning time For starters, let's head on up here. This uh, field up here, I think it's like 48% fertilized, something like that. I don't know where I left off, but that's where I would like to start. Where are you, little section? Uh right there now it looked like it was right here right where I started going down right here. there we go so with this we should be able to at least finish this field and the fields right next to it and hopefully get some of the big field done as well and then I can just make one more trip to finish out the big field and we'll go do some jobs and that'll be it pretty much yeah, the last episode we'll kind of like do some more uh, mowing of the lawn. Which I may do that for no apparent reason because I think when I wake up April 1st, the lawn is going to be just like totally high grass. 
That's what I expect anyways. Wouldn't expect anything other. But I don't know, maybe they fixed it and I didn't I didn't see it in the patch notes, but it's been so long since I had to read patch notes I can't remember what I read. Even if it was yesterday I probably wouldn't read well, if it was yesterday maybe I would. Maybe I would. Try to save as much fertilizer as I can. I don't want to waste it because I'm hoping I can just do this in two trips, like I said. I was actually shocked to see the uh, some of the fields growing already. But when I start looking at the dates and when I think I think we started like August 20th, so it's been almost a month. So it's you know. It's I guess they're about due to start growing. Should be one more pass and then we'll be done with this field. What are we at? We're at 87% already. So it looks like I'll get up in the 90 percentile, no problem. No problem, sir. We guarantee fertilizing your fields in the 90 percentile range. Ninety-three percent. We're going to call that good. Turn that off. We don't want to waste any. And here we go. A little bouncy in that corner of the field. Slows down the tractor too much. And there's all of our equipment. We're going to leave that there because April 1st, the first field we're doing is a big field. So the only field that we're doing that day is that one there. And we're going to hire a lot of help harvesting the first day. Just to see how much money we can make the first day of spring. Which I can imagine would be quite a bit of it. Be able to hire four workers at a time. Just find some big fields for them to harvest so they can get going. And we'll just see the money just rapidly go up. Because when they harvest the field, the money just automatically deposits into your bank account it's not like a worker has to empty the harvester and then bring it to the sell point it just you just get the money as they harvest it how are we doing the tank still got a half a tank over half a tank And I was wondering if that was going to happen. Uh, we got some thunderstorms rolling through and I've lost internet like 13 million times so far today. Alright, that was a fun little 10 minute delay. For me anyways. I'm pretty sure I lost some food, some health. I'm pretty sure the tractor... I kind of paused the game and saved it as quick as I could. One thing that bothers me a little bit about the game is you need connection to Steam in order to play it, which is kind of aggravating a little bit. But it is what it is. I mean, how often do you really lose internet? I think the lightning strikes around here are just causing problems. But anywho, let's get this field fertilized. Before something else happens. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, I forgot even what I was even talking about before I paused it. Uh, yeah, so today, yeah, we'll just uh, get these fields fertilized. So we can see the fields are starting to, to grow. But we just planted these fields here, so we should have more than enough time to get to fertilization on it. And I gotta bring the slurry tankers down here at some point. Empty one of them off. 
and the other one will just empty at the last day of the year just to make sure our storage tank is good and empty so when April 1st comes around the corner we can get a full 50,000 liters uh, 30% left on the spreader Yeah, so it looks like I'm only going to have to make one more trip with the fertilizer spreader down to the big field. Ninety percent in this field. All right, just so we we make sure we know the ones by the farm are all done. Uh, let's see, fertilized, yes. Fertilized, yes. Yes, yes, for sure, just did it, just did it, obviously that's not, I checked that one, so now we just got a couple fields here, this one is, and this one is, yep, so we just got this big field here to do, so let's jump right into that field, uh, we got 23% of the tank remaining, And if I remember, a full tank can do 80% of the field. So as long as we can do 20% of the field, we're pretty much good to go with one more tank. But even if I don't finish it in the next tank, I'm sure as heck not going to go all the way down to the farm, refill it, and come back up to get an extra 5%, even though it's a winter harvest. I'm not in that dire need of fertilizing every field to its limits, but I'll do the best to my ability, which is not much. So, <laughs> deal with it. But hopefully with the four jobs today, it'll push us over... Yeah, it should push us over the uh, 1.7 line for sure. And all the jobs I'll do between now and the last day of the season for, before I record the next episode... That'd be great if I can get like another ten grand for money, but I'm not sure about that. That'd be like one grand per day. So I need about four jobs that all pay at three hundred dollars per day. Get that little corner piece at a later time. Right now, I just want to cover most of the fields I can with this one, just to give me a rough idea if uh, we're going to be able to do it completely in the other. Hard to read with the field stats bouncing around like that. <laughs> so, you know, just wait until we're done. As long as we get about 20% of the field done, which I think we should have gotten done, then we're then we're fine, I believe. All right, make sure I turn that off. Uh, 20%. So that should work out just about right. So I'm going to head back to the farm, fill this up, bring it back, and we'll continue where we left off. Then uh, we'll bring the fertilizer back after that. We'll wash it because, you know, it doesn't rain here ever anymore. Uh, we'll park it up for the year. Even wash our tractor. But uh, I'll see you in a second. Just about halfway home uh, fertilizing this field. I better not run out of fertilizer with too much of the field left because I know it will bug me and I will have to go refill it and then come all the way back down here. And that is a long drive, even in this tractor. But I do remember the day of plowing this field and the jack bear and the old plow. And that was before they uh, upgraded the amount of money you got and social points you got for plowing this field. Of course, back then when I saw the price, I'm like, ooh, $800 and, uh, you know, I think it was uh, $1,600 social point. I was like, ooh, yeah, that's nice. Two days plowing this field with that sucker. And I was like, yeah, not so much. 
Not so much at all. <laughs> and now it's been a while since I actually did a job. I think now you get something like, what, 16 grand for doing work in this field? Which is a great job to get when you're just starting out. And the social points, oh yeah. You get like 30 grand social points, wouldn't you? Something like that. And we're looking to get 50,000 social points so you can hire workers. Th that would be the first thing I would suggest by getting this game is to... Now, I don't know if they change it. It's been a while since I've done the beginning part, but I think you get 50,000 social points for finishing your homestead, if I'm correct. That would be like the first thing I would do uh, in the game. Other than, of course, you meet Oliver. Uh, then I would go fix Oliver's barn just to get the Jack Bear tractor just to have it and then the first then the first thing I would do is uh, fix up your house your homestead get your 50,000 social points and then hire some workers to harvest your fields while you go do work in other fields or something because the first thing uh, you're gonna you're, you know in order to go get the harvester you gotta go up and see Janet, I believe, should be Janet, has a harvester. But the old harvester doesn't collect as well as new harvester does. When you hire a worker, they use a new harvester. So in theory, you should get more grain out of it, even though you're hiring a worker, to be more profitable for you to do so. A few more passes up and down, and then it's got the little cubby hole, if I got enough fertilizer, that's all we have left. Uh, what are we at in the field? We're already at 87% in the field, so that's pretty darn good. It's the best I've ever done this field, I think. Because usually I just come down with one tractor and trailer load and fertilizer go, yeah, that's good enough. But this is the first year I've had it for the winter. So we're going to try to get it as much fertilized as we can. So we can benefit from the great crop of the spring. The joys of spring cleaning. That little section there. Oh, I got 13% left in the tank. Well, let me finish up this little cubby hole and maybe do these little crescent moons here. And ladies and gentlemen, this is field work done for the season. Basically. Uh, I realize I got the fertile, uh, liquid slurry to kind of tap out on but basically our, our field work is done is that a piece missing right there or is that just a shadow this is a shadow on the ground it may look like I missed a piece uh, what do we get up to 94% that's damn good if you ask me did I not I swear I hit the button to fertilize see if you're not paying attention which I do a lot. There they go. Now they're on. Turn it off again. And I want to make sure the tank's empty so I don't have to back it in there. And empty it. But I'll see if there's any pieces I can hit anywhere else. Like this field here. We get that little strip there. This little strip here.
this little strip there. And there we go. I was going to try to get that one, but we're empty. So artificial fertilizing is done for the season. We're pretty much done with field work for the season. And in about two episodes, we're going to have a ton of field work to do for many episodes. But like I said, I think next season, uh, I'm just going to cut back on how much field work that we do on our own fields. And we're going to kind of focus on social points and try to get up to a million social points. That'll be kind of the goal for next season. And uh, maybe after we reach one million social points on this game, I would hope by then the update would have come out and see what it's about and uh, see how we feel about maybe starting all over. I may actually do that, but I'm not sure. I want to see what the next update is going to be all about. But for now, let me go back uh, to the farm, wash up these two things, put them away, and we'll go do some, uh, we got four jobs to do. Two transports and two fix the house jobs, so... I'll see you in a second. There, vehicles all washed. I didn't bother refueling the tractor, just didn't feel like doing it. Uh, we still got like 70 some odd percent of fuel in there, so it's not a big deal. And really, I don't expect to be using the tractor at, at all the rest of the year, maybe. Uh, actually, I probably will because the wife's tractor is cleaned and refueled, so yeah, we'll use ours. And then refuel it at the end of the year, the last day of the season. So let's go to our beautiful parking spot. We'll park these things up. Make sure we got our scaffolding with us. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Oh, let me guess. Am I too hungry? Uh, must be. Oh, we'll, we'll waste a fish. There we go. Uh, looks like both of those jobs are down there. So I'll hop into... Looks like they're at the church, actually. So, wait a minute. If I go here... Get in the bus stop. And go here. I think they were at the church. Yep. Now one's going to be transport, one's going to be fix the building. Is it so close to one another? I'm not sure. That's Oliver, but it's not our next door neighbor, Oliver. I mean, you guys can think of other names. Well, hello there. Uh, okay, I'm looking I'm for work, looking dude. For work. I can't believe this guy's name is Oliver. I mean, they just couldn't think of other guys' names. Farm some care. It's not like think? we're short on them. 
Two hundred. I'll take care Dude, of Dude, I need three at least three hundred dollars from each person here. That does not really help me at all. Oh wait, I can't really jump over this fence, so I gotta go up this way. Looks like we're gonna be uh giving ourselves a timeout in the white corner of the building again. But it is two hundred dollars, it is four hundred social points. So this is what I'll be doing off cam for about ten days. Running around, doing transport jobs, flashing back and forth. And the next episode will be the last day of September. And we'll kind of do a wrap up of... Uh, I'll kind of look before I start doing all these jobs after this episode. See where our social points are. Thank you. Here's something for you. Well, actually, we can see at the end of this episode where our social points are. And we'll see where we end up before the, the beginning of the next episode. Uh, who's got the job? John does. But you're going to have a transport job for it. Hey, John, dude. Oh, man. Thank you. Hello there. Good afternoon. Kind of. All right. Let's I see how cheap you're going to be to me. Got anything for me? There's something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. Yeah, I know. Steve, the drug dealer, has it. All right. So at least you're at the $300 mark. That's fine. That sounds good. I'll take care of this. Yep, yeah, we will. Because I believe we got to go down here. I'm here like, right next to you, dude. Hello. Sure, there it is. Alright, now to get back to him. Best thing to do is teleport back to our, our minivan. Yeah, do you want to see a full episode of me doing this? I don't think so. And then we'll hop up to here. And then run back over here. Hey, could you imagine watching 30 minutes of me doing this for like, it'll be like uh, 10 days worth. Not much action. Here's the package you requested. Thank you. Here's something for you. Alright, so the other job is down here next to nothing. So, we'll actually hop in our little minivan. We'll actually come up to this one first. Now, if it's, uh, what's her name? Clara. She's bugged for me. She's still trying to give me hints on how to farm. Which is supposed to be like the first quest that, well, one of the first quests you get at the beginning. If it's, uh, what's his name? Aiden? Then I could get a nice. I just saw him. Hopefully it's you. Crap, it's not him. Uh, oh, really? You're running away from me? Where does she think she's going? Yeah, it's Clara. I'm not even going to bother asking her because I know the only thing she's going to tell me is how to farm. And I think we got a pretty good grasp on it so far. <laughs> uh, let me mark this one because they're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I know where they are now, but that's right. When I mark the map, it just marks where it's not marking the person. That's a different game I'm thinking of. Well, at the rate we're going, we should be there in no time. Yep, van full of equipment and stuff. You know, leaping off edges, whatever, and that stuff is staying all in one place. So today we're only going to get three jobs. Uh, are you here yet? Nope. Uh, they're now, they're heading up this direction. Can I squeeze through here? Sure can. Careful not to drive in someone else's field. We'll lose the social points that we're going for. <laughs> so, you know, my guess is going to be one of these three stooges, as I like to call them. 
Where is this person? Is it you? I don't remember ever talking to you. Hello. Been a long time since I talked to you Are or your you name change friend? or something. We're friends though. Is there something I can help you with? There is something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. I have no idea where you're going to send me. Oh man, I got gypped on jobs Sounds today. Good. I'll take care of this. It's almost like the game knows I'm trying to get to where we're going. Oh, you're sending me to Steve. That's good, because that's right where my truck is. And if you don't move, you'll send me back at the minivan. I'm here for the package. I need to deliver some more kilos, buddy. Sure. There it is. And she's still standing there. Perfect. Here's the package you requested. Thank you. Here's something for you. Not much, but I'll take it. And we didn't even get over... I almost looked at the money wrong, because I thought I was going to go over 170 today. What the hell was I thinking? <laughs> oh man, we're way short of 170. Especially when they keep paying us 260. 2 flipping 60. Granted, I just had a, well, I had a tracer down to begin with, but after I got the job, it was like click, 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 click. Hey, we're done. So I'll pro, they'll probably for ten days doing all those jobs will probably take me like maybe twenty minutes or so to skip through the days doing that. The good news is I won't use much food. It won't take me too long, I don't think. Alright, one last thing we'll do today. As you can see, I started mowing the yard after last episode. I did a little bit because I felt like it and the wife was complaining about, uh, about the grass around the house. So I did a little bit. But we're going to clean up around the barns and sheds here. I try to go in like little sections to make it look like I'm doing something, but I'm really not, actually. <laughs> this is why usually I don't show this, because probably watch, watching me do this for like 20 minutes, I can just see people getting like motion sickness. But maybe for those who don't have the game yet, want well, to know what mowing the grass is like, uh, this is what mowing the grass is like. We're too cheap to go buy a rotting lawnmower, so we do it, you know, the fun way. At least they slow down the uh, growth, growth of the grass. It used to grow back much quicker. I think it used to have to mow the yard like once every two weeks. And they slowed it down quite a bit, and I'm, I'm one of those that are grateful for it. Too bad I can't uh, cut this up, roll it up, and give it to the cows as hay. Ah, it is nice to have a clean yard again. Sort of. It really doesn't take that long to do the yard, but still. I wish I had something wider than a weed whacker. String trimmer, whatever you like to call it from where you're from. Mowing, mowing, mowing. Get that grass up mowing. And every time I think I'm done, you always look back and you start walking around like a day later, you can see patches that you missed. Uh, well, 
whoa, whoa, game. Even the game just freaked out then. I wasn't even touching the keys. I was just moving around. The game is freaking out on me, man. Yep, the wife is keeping an eye on me. She kind of complained the other day about the grass. And I, I told her, I said, hey, you're in the yard all day long, picking up weeds. You missed a few. And I ended up sleeping on the couch overnight, so... But let me tell you, sometimes that couch is comfy. still doing it once in a while the game I stopped pressing where I'm going and the game's like no you're still going that way I'm like no nope, no I'm not you can stop anytime now I'm sure it's because I'm cutting all the grass and it's trying to rewrite <laughs> rewrite what's been done what hasn't been done one last section that we're going to do right here just to get the main yard looking well And it's still the one thing I don't get that I realize the devs overlooked it, but they gave you all this equipment, but really no place to put it. They're like, well, you're standing around barns and stuff. Uh, there, that looks a lot better. But if you look in here, uh, we got the, the old hay baler. Game, I'm not moving, stop it. Uh, the grass cutter that I bought that you can't do nothing with. Uh, in here is where your gas is. Uh, you can't really park nothing there because if you got to bring the tractor in to actually do it properly, you want to gas up. Uh, here is where you load up your grain for storage. And really, the harvester doesn't fit in any of these. Uh, I don't think I got... This is where I usually park the harvester for the winter, but since it's going to be down there... But uh, the header, I don't think that I could get the header in here, though. That's why I parked the headers over by the chicken coop. But guys, our fields are all prepped, other than spraying some liquid slurry here and there. So in the last episode, uh, well, not the last episode, last episode of the season, I should say. Let's clarify that. Uh, we'll have a look at uh, how our social points are, so if you want to keep track. Our social points are at uh, 677,365. And if you have a hard time remembering the last few digits, how many days in a year? I mean, okay. And maybe I should write down how much cash we got. I better write this stuff down too because I'll start recording and I won't have the info in front of me. And I'll be all lost like I am anyways. So I got about what? Two weeks worth? 10 days get me to the 27th and a couple extra days. So about two weeks worth of jobs to do off cam. And the last day of September, like I said, we'll do whatever jobs are available the last day. Uh, we'll empty out the fertilizer tank and see if I got any fields I can go spray that on. And uh, whatever we got in the pantry, we'll go sell and see if we can get this up to one and three quarter million. Uh, you've been collecting milk, haven't you? Honey, darling. Yeah, how, how you doing? Hi, honey. I can't remember the last time I talked to her, so I'm just gonna just see how she is, compliment her, and uh, we'll kind of wrap up the episode. Nice to see you, love. How are you? Uh, she's perfect. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, she's the perfect. Chickens are good. Cows are good. Kind of a thing. Darling? I always says how she's perfect, but yet she crosses his arm and, you know, looks like she's pouting a little bit. No flower is as beautiful as you are. Try telling that to your wife after you've been married a couple of years and they just look at you like, uh, what do you want? <laughs> That's what the, they pretty much say. They won't say, oh, aren't you nice? They kind of say, hey, darling, you're, you're no one as beautiful as you are. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> that's what that's what they'll say. 
But anywho, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Like always, I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you in the next episode where we finish off the season. But until then, have a good one.